Hey, what is up phone dogs, Bo HD here, and today I wanna to test out the speed of the iPhone 6 with the speed of the LG G3 in terms of numbers. What I mean is that I will be running a few benchmarking applications that will test a variety of areas, such as the CPU, the graphics, and the memory, and they will in turn spit out a score and a ranking, depending on how well the phone performs, so that you can actually compare the score it gives you with other devices. Now first I'm going to test Geekbench 3 on the iPhone 6 by first making sure we aren't running any sort of background applications. I'm going to speed this whole process up since I don't want to bore you guys to death, but Geekbench 3 is a very reputable benchmarking application as it tests the CPU power and the efficiency of the device you're running it on. And so as you can see, the iPhone 6 received a single core score of 1630 with a multi-core score of 2925 which is very similar to the score I received in the last benchmark video I showed you guys. But if we take a look at the LG G3 and run the same application, first by getting rid of all those background applications, we will see that it received a single core score of 990 and a multi-core score of 2495, which isn't quite as good as the iPhone 6. That's not to say that the iPhone 6 is a clear winner. It most likely just means that the CPU is more efficient and optimized than the LG G3. But regardless, there is a pretty distinct difference. Now, the other benchmark app I'm going to run first on the iPhone 6 is the 3D Mark app, which really does a great job testing the CPU and specifically the graphics of a device. It generally takes longer than most benchmarking tests since there are quite a few tests to go through. But once it's all said and done, we'll see that the iPhone 6 received a score of 17,525, which really isn't too bad at all as it placed between the Sony Xperia Z2A and the HTC J Butterfly. If we run the same benchmarking application on the LG G3 by first clearing out all of those background applications, we'll see that I actually had to install the Ice Storm Unlimited package since it didn't really do that automatically. But once again, I'm going to skip through all of that so I don't bore you guys. But once it's all done doing its thing, we'll see that the LG G3 received a score of 16,940, which is very, very close to the iPhone 6 score. I'm willing to bet that if we actually ran both of these tests several times and possibly even performed a factory reset on both devices, we would be able to get these scores to be even similar. But as you can see, these devices can handle graphics like pros. Now the last series of benchmarking applications I'm going to run are exclusive to each of these devices, or at least they only work on these devices at the moment. And Tutu does run on both iOS and Android, but it doesn't function properly on the iPhone 6. So I replaced it with the app called Performance Test Mobile, which is only on iOS. And as you can see, it's not exactly optimized to work with the larger iPhone displays, but it'll still give us a good idea as to how this device performs, because as you can see, it received an overall system score of 5,973, which is pretty darn good for an iOS device. Definitely better than the other iOS devices out there, which would make sense since this is the newest Apple device. But if we take a look back at the LG G3 and run the Antutu benchmarking application, this is the app I really wish worked on the iPhone 6. I really hope the developer fixes it soon because it's a damn good benchmarking application. But as you can see, it's going to take a while longer than some of the other apps since there are quite a lot of different tests it goes through. But it gave the LG G3 a score of 36,575 which is pretty solid, although it didn't quite beat out the Galaxy Note 3 or Xperia Z2, which I found interesting. But that is the last app worth testing out. I hope all of you who are numbers people found this to be useful, and if you're not, maybe you're like me, hopefully you'll still be able to use the scores I received as a reference point when testing your devices at home. Which, by the way, feel free to send me some of your scores in the comments section. I'd love to take a look at them and see what kind of scores you guys received. And so with that said, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. See ya!